Are some inks more prone to clogging fountain pens than others? Is there a preference on the different kinds of inks such as bulletproof, eternal, lubricated, etc., to eliminate this? All right, so when you're talking about clogging, I don't know necessarily how everybody defines clogging. When I think clogging, I think that, that the ink is actually gumming up inside the pen and not flowing through. A um, couple of things that can cause that, maybe not related to the ink at all. If you haven't cleaned out your pen in a really long time, clean it out and try it again. Um, clogging issues a lot of times are caused by poor pen maintenance. So you're going to want to try to clean your pen every couple of weeks. Um, and if you have a pen that dries out particularly fast, you're going to want to, you know, adjust that accordingly, maybe clean it, clean it even more often. This is even if you're using the same color you're gonna to wanna to clean the pen every couple of weeks. And the reason for that is as you're writing with your pen, your nib is creating a static charge on the paper. And if you uh, could actually see kind of on a macro level that as you're writing, you, that static charge is literally like drawing dust fibers out of the air and attracting it to your nib. And it's taking paper fibers and almost kind of grabbing them into your nib. Um, now it's not anything that's happening like instantaneously, it happens over time, but if you're writing with it regularly for a couple of weeks, you're gonna get some junk up in your pen from writing. Uh, combine that with maybe leave the ink sitting in there for a while. Some of the water tends to evaporate out. You have more dye concentration left in your pen than you normally did when you first inked it. And that combination of things can clog your pen. So pen maintenance is key. Um, that said, there are some inks that do tend to have, you know, a rougher time flowing through than others. Some of that's just the nature of the ink and it's not, you know, the Noodler's Eternal inks, I think in general, tend to be a little higher maintenance. You need to clean those out pretty regularly. Um, bulletproof inks, not necessarily. Um, Noodler's Eternal series of inks, like the, um, you know, all the, like the one ounce bottles they have and some of the Russian and UK inks they have are the Eternal ones, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, those ones tend to be a little higher maintenance. Uh, but, you know, their bulletproof inks, like Bulletproof Black is pretty good. That one's pretty low maintenance. They have a lot of other inks that are classified as bulletproof. Some of them are a little higher maintenance, some of them are not. Um, but in general, if you're going for like complete ease of use, okay, just stay away from all permanent inks and, and you're gonna have, you know, fewer problems. Lubricated inks generally are not a problem because again, they're lubricated, so they're gonna help to flow through the pen. Um, but yeah, okay, so aside from pen maintenance, um, another thing, that actually this kind of goes in line with pen maintenance, but if you are um, switching ink colors and not cleaning out the pens all the way, some of the clogging issues can actually be from one ink mixing in the pen with an older ink that you have that was left in there. Um, not all inks are compatible with each other and sometimes they can uh, actually react and congeal a little bit or at least slow things down. Um, it's not super often that that happens, but it certainly could be a factor. Or if you have an old dried up ink that's in the pen, you don't clean it out all the way, you can put another ink in there and as you're using it, a little piece of old dried up ink can kind of break through and kind of clog the feed as it's going through. So really pen maintenance will eliminate a lot of that. But if you have an opinion about certain specific inks, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Just leave me a comment.